Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's MZ here. I just thought I'd do a video response to high sensitive tarot's tarot tag, and that is my 10 most neglected decks of 2023. And I was looking through my collection, and there's a lot of decks I've neglected, <laughs> a lot of decks I've bought and haven't used at all. And I thought I'd just stick with tarot because there's a lot of oracle decks I've neglected as well, and it would just be a very long video. <laughs> And I could probably have picked more than 10. It's quite bad, really. I've got a big collection and I uh, impulse buy. And I love the artwork on some of them. And I just don't get around to using them. So, <laughs> yeah, I feel a bit of shame about it, to be honest. But one day I reckon I'll use them. Like, you use Tarot and Oracle, depending on your mood or particular need. And I'll be like, oh. I'll use that deck one day for this reason or whatever you know what I mean so I don't know but yeah let me just start with the first one <laughs> the first two decks I'm going to show you I'm going to count as one because they're both the same deck but one's in black and white and one's in colour and this is the Light Visions Tarot by James R. Eads and the, the coloured version is called the Prisma Visions Tarot by James R. E. I've looked through these when I bought them and realised pretty quickly that these decks weren't for me, and which is a shame really because they are beautiful. I'll show you that they even I even left the plastic on them. <laughs> it's not terrible, yeah. But I'll just show you quickly some of the cards. They are really really stunning cards. I just never. Like spoke to me really. Like it's just never been a deck a click to you, I guess. Which is a shame. They are really nice. Let me show you the other one. And I was thinking about rehoming these. I also have the the Oracle he's made as well. I can't remember what that one's called now. Cosmic Visions Oracle or something. Um, I'll probably rehome that too because I haven't used that either. Uh, that artwork is absolutely stunning. I love it. But it's just not something I think I'm going to use. It's, I think it's too out there for me. Like I do like abstract sort of art, but I don't know. It's just the imagery is just not speaking to me. And yeah, I suppose you get that with some cards. This one was quite hyped up on Kickstarter and I feel like I was going to miss out if I didn't buy this and it was really quite popular and I think a lot of people were in this deck. But yeah, I just, I know they would line up to make an image and that sort of thing, but I'm never going to use it like that. So it doesn't mean make sense for me to keep it just because it's pretty. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to rehome this, keep both these decks. And the Oracle one he made too. Which is a shame because they are nice. And I probably am missing out. I should probably give them a go. But I don't think I will. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in getting, what, interested in having these decks, like buying them off me, then feel free to message me because I probably will rehome them. And they've looked through them, never been shuffled. So they're basically brand new. Yeah, these are the first two decks I wanted to get rid of, which is unfortunate. <laughs> the second deck I've neglected this year is this one, the Fox Universe Tarot, a self-care oracle. It is a tarot as well. And I've never used it. Boy, of Etsy because I really like the art. You see, like... How good Nick it is because I just don't use the things. It's got beautiful gilding, stunning. And yeah, I just never used this one. It's like a tarot and oracle in one. Love the backs, they're beautiful. I will probably get around to using this one at some point. I think I just forgot I had it, <laughs> which is bad. And I do like this black and white deck. I like colourful decks, but this one is really nice as well. So, yeah, I haven't really used this either. Just, I have a large collection, and it's going to happen, isn't it? And 
I impulse buy things and I'm constantly buying decks all the time. But I've got better this year that new ones I've brought in, I tend to use that month just to give them a try. So I'm actually using them as I'm purchasing them. I get a good feel for the decks and things like that. So, yeah. These ones I bought a few years ago now and they're just sat there. <laughs> but I will get around to them because I will... I like to rotate my cards quite often, so they'll get used at some point, I swear. <laughs> so yeah, that's the second one I haven't been using. It is really beautiful though. And that is the Fox Universe Tarot. The third deck I have neglected this year is the Tarot of the Kingdoms. And the sole reason for neglecting this deck is the cardstock. It's very papery and I'm so worried I'm going to ruin the cards because they don't feel like they're coated very well and they're really quite flimsy, very papery. It feels like paper. The artwork's stunning on them, which is a shame. So I'm just so scared of actually damaging these cards that I haven't used these at all. I even damaged a card when they came in the post because those all stuck together. And I ripped one by accident because it was stuck to the other one and it's basically paper. <laughs> so <laughs> I haven't used this for that reason and it's just annoying that they make these beautiful decks on rubbish cardstock. <laughs> like, it literally feels like cardboard. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but this is a stunning deck. I really like the artwork. It's very bright and colourful. I love it so much. But, yeah, just stop. not want to use it because... I don't want to damage it. Maybe if I've got a second copy, I'm more likely to use this one, which I damaged somewhere. I think it was in the corner of one of them. I can't remember. I think it was right at the end. I can't remember exactly which one I damaged, but it's in here somewhere. And I was like, no. And it literally like ripped the other car and I had to like stick it back down with a bit of glue because just basically like if you was ripping a sticker off a of book, a piece of paper out of a book. That's how car paper these are and it's absolutely ridiculous. It's really disappointing when I've got it because I really like the art. It's beautiful. I really like the borders where they're all different. And you have like these ones for the majors. And you go on this one for air with flowers. Just a stunning little deck. Please bring this out in better car stock, please, because <laughs> I love it. <laughs> then you've got fiery borders, then blue shell borders for water. It's just really beautiful, I love it. And that's the earth suit. But yeah, it's got a nice guidebook, and that's made quite well, so why didn't they make the cards well? It's really frustrating, but yeah, that's the third deck I've neglected in 2023. Just found the card that I was talking about. I'd put a bit of sellotape on the back of it. It literally ripped. <laughs> so stupid, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, that's why I don't like using this deck. <laughs> the fourth deck I've been neglecting is this one, the Animal Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I was trying to get myself to liking animal decks because I don't have that many and I thought I'll give this one a go, it's mass market, it's got pretty animals in it and I thought it would I would spark my love for animal decks but I'm very very picky what animal decks I actually like, like the guidebook's good and I like the little summaries on the bottom but I just can't connect with animal decks, I just don't understand it. Like, I think I used this once when I first purchased it. I like the back for the cat on the back. It's beautiful. But, yeah, it just didn't speak to me. Like, I don't know. I prefer a different style of deck, I guess. I like cat decks. I do love cats. But any other animal, I'm just not really interested. I don't really know why. It just doesn't spark my intuition, I guess. Like. Half these animals I've never seen in real life. So <laughs> I've only seen them on like documentaries and things. And I don't know. 
I don't know how you can associate an animal with the tarot meanings. I don't really. Yeah, I just couldn't click this one. Might try again one day, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I do like how the borders are different colours for each suit and like the little memory. No, I really like that card because obviously it's a cat. <laughs> And it says you may feel you're trapped in a situation, but there's not true. Be able to overlay focus on material wealth and break free of negative thinking. See, I do like the word, like the messages on the bottom. But yeah, don't use this. It's very neglected. <laughs> I might possibly pass this on at one point because I don't think I'll ever see myself reusing this. So yeah, that's the. Animal Tarot Cards by Dory Virtue and Medley Valentine. The fifth deck I've been neglecting in 23 is the Tower of Many Doors. I like the concept of this deck. Like This was an eBay like bidding war impulse buy. <laughs> I thought, wow, this is like my style. It's quirky and strange. And I like the silver back to the little Mac foiling sort of thing on the back. And... I like the idea of different doorways into different like paths and like journeys and things. And I come with a little thing with the little about the cards and stuff. I don't know, just once I finally had it in my hands, I struggled to connect with it. I haven't really used it since I bought it. I'd flicked through it and I was just a bit Disappointed because it wasn't what I thought it was going to be in my head. And I think I just need to work with this a bit more. Getting this bit of a, like a storyline behind, like a typical world. And I need to like research the deck more to understand what's going on. Like, but it is quite strange, and you'd think I'd love it. <laughs> just something I just haven't used. And because they renamed. A lot of the suits, I think that like threw me off as well. Like it's got dice and wires. I think I just need to find like some sort of companion book with this. I think there might be one. I think it was a Kickstarter. But yeah, it's just I don't know. It was a bit too much changed in the tarot that I just couldn't connect with it. I guess. But yeah, I think this will be one I will grow to love at some point, but I just haven't had the time to delve into it that much. So yeah, this is the Terror of Many Doors. The sixth deck I've been neglecting is a Kickstarter I backed. It's called The Book of Shadows, an alchemist story. And I've Fell in love with it when yeah, the hype and the story behind it and everything. But I don't know when I got it, it just didn't sit the same. I don't really know why. I like the art style and everything. It has a few extra cards in it, but I haven't used this. Very beautiful. Probably should use it. I probably will look road to love it if I actually got it deck out and used it <laughs> but it's just sat in the drawer and i forgot about it like most of my collection i guess <laughs> but i'm sorry if i take through everything so please don't judge me <laughs> but yeah they are beautiful cards like they're stunning no well, again i just there's a big guidebook with it there's a lot of story behind like the tarot itself that i think you have to read a a lot of information and it came with a lot of extra things like scrolls related to it and I think you need to do a lot of studying to work with it and I think that's why I just don't have the time. Like I suppose I could just pick it up and use it as a tarot deck but I like to look at everything I have like the guidebook and everything that comes with it and actually use it how it's intended rather than just using it and I think that's why I've put off using this deck because I do like the artwork. It is really beautiful. And um, you could use it without all that information, but maybe I'm just making excuses. <laughs> I don't know. But I do like it, and I probably will use it at some point. I just haven't used it yet. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another one I've neglected is this one, the Book of Shadows, an Alchemist story. 
The next deck I've neglected in 2023 is this one, the Gentle Thrills Tarot. I love the artwork in this, but unfortunately it's a pip deck. So it's something I'm not keen on pip decks that much. But I just couldn't resist buying it just for the artwork. I love the back, it's really nice. And I don't know, I'm not comfortable using pips that much. Maybe in time I will, but I love the art, it's really nice. Very pretty. I suppose they're all making the similar expressions in these, so like you probably couldn't distinguish one from the other really. Like you think it'd be a bit slightly different. Very apathetic, I suppose, their expressions. Everyone's like meh. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. It's I like the art, I bought it for that reason, I guess. And I just don't think it'll work for me as a tarot. I haven't really tried using it properly. But yeah, there's just mainly just faces as the main theme and not a lot of imagery that I like. And then when you get onto the pips, it's just pictures of flowers and there are a bit of illustrations with it, but it's just not enough for me. And I was disappointed in the pips because, you know, when you buy a deck on Amazon, they never show you the minor cards. So I only saw the majors and I assumed it was fully illustrated, but that was my bad for impulse buying, not researching it properly. <laughs> so, yeah, I just don't use this one for the pip cards. I do like the color, use of colour in this. It is really pretty. But just not one I use to make do readings with. So yeah, that's the Gentle Frills Tarot. The eighth deck I've neglected is for similar reasons as the previous one. It's the Outsider Art Tarot by Rita Rose. And again, this one's a pip deck. I love the artwork. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. But it's just too pippish for me and it was disappointing really because if they've done the whole deck as the majors and the court cards and it'd be absolutely amazing kind of reminds me of a the basqua artist if i'm saying his name right and that sort of style i absolutely love the backs i love the majors they're so stunning but it's just a pip deck and i just don't not drawn to them that much so I actually love this art, it's so stunning. I would just wish they had done it throughout the whole deck. And again, they didn't show the minor cards when I was purchasing it off Amazon. They just showed the illustrated cards that they do as like a marketing tactic, I suppose. But I just, look at that, it's amazing. I love the colours. I just wish they did it throughout the whole thing. It just seems lazy to me. I don't know. Like you put all this effort into create all these cards, and then you get to the miners, and you're like, nope, have some sticks. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it's like that. For they're all exactly the same. Like you couldn't. It's got a keyword there. I suppose it, that would help. But I just, I don't know. Pip decks just annoy me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll grow with it in time, and I won't be so annoyed by them. But yeah, the keyword saves it. But it's still a pip deck. Right, and it goes back to amazing court cards again. So just really frustrating. Like, I don't know why they do this with decks. Like either all in or you're not, and then you just get a bunch of cups for you know, miners. And yeah, it's just annoying. <laughs> My pet peeve in tarot is pip decks. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Like you put you might as well effort in the whole way through let's stop halfway and then give us a bunch of daggers you know <laughs> so yeah this is another one i've neglected just for that reason but i will keep it because i do actually love the artwork in this just a shame that's not throughout the whole deck so yeah that's the outsider art terror the next deck i've got to show you i had no excuse for why i don't use this deck it's the rain coast tarot absolutely love this when I got it, I was so excited. I love the artist. The I have his all his oracles and even drew like a little 
image in there. I just think that's so cool. Uh, I just honestly think I'm afraid of ruining this deck. Uh, I like to have backups of artwork I really like, or otherwise I won't use it. But this is, um, I didn't tell you what it was, did I? Oh, I did. The Raincoast Tarot by Christopher, Christoph James. I just love the backs, they're amazing. And this artwork is absolutely stunning. I think I'll just have to get a second copy because I'm so scared of ruining it. I don't want to use it. I'm terrible with things like that. <laughs> I do that with all aspects of my life as well. Like I buy a top I love and I'll, make, I'll buy another one. So I could put in that top until I've ruined it basically. And then I've got a fresh new one in the wardrobe waiting for me. <laughs> I'm terrible. I don't know why I do it. I think it's just a, like perfectionist in me, like knowing that I have a perfect one like as backup i guess i don't really know but i love this deck it's so beautiful and i'm gonna actually use this deck in 2024 i've decided i've neglected it too long i love this artwork it's stunning amazing i love this deck so much and i just need to get over myself and just use it <laughs> so yeah i'll bring this into my collection definitely next year i won't neglect you no more i swear <laughs> so yeah that's the this deck. So that's the Raincoast Tarot. And the last deck I've been neglecting is this one Neo Tarot. Packaging annoys me. Like it comes in an extra box. I could just use the tarot, I guess. But why stick the book to the box? How annoying is that? I find that really infuriating. <laughs> don't know why it annoys me so much, but. It shouldn't stop me from using the deck, but it does. I don't know why they stick book, like, have the book separate, man. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't know. I just, it really winds me up. But, yeah, this art is beautiful again. I love this deck. It's beautiful. I need, just need to not let the book annoy me so much, but this is the Neo Tarot. Bought it, never used it, just because I don't want to ruin the book or maybe I should just cut out the box but I don't think I can because I'm a perfectionist <laughs> like leaving things as they are like I won't um like modify decks and things because I just like them as they are I don't know I'm just scared of ruining things I suppose but yeah I have no excuse for not using this one either <laughs> well excuse for any of them to be honest I shouldn't be neglecting any decks that I own but I do but yeah, this is a stunning deck I really like the colours like the style, like how they got massive shoulder pads, and like, you know, it's really cool artwork. I really like it. And I like this card because it's like a kid's play pen getting knocked down, really, rather than actual tower. I just really like that. <laughs> but yeah, I like the colours and the style, and it's beautiful and it's fully illustrated. And I should just use it. It just annoys me that the book's stuck to the box. <laughs> That's like really old style packaging. Like I used to get that all the time back in like the early 2000s. Like you buy something and the book's stuck to the box. And they did that with a lot of things. And thought they would have stopped doing that by now. But the Neo Tarot decided to do that. <laughs> you can see I'm wound up by it, can't you? <laughs> so yeah, that's the Neo Tarot with the annoying box attached to the book. But yeah, I do like this deck. Uh, that's all the decks I've neglected, and there's many more that I haven't neglected in 2023, but they're the ones I'm showing you today. I hope you enjoyed this tarot tag, and thank you for starting the tag. Uh, um, highly sensitive tarot, really enjoyed doing it, and I'll do the other one she's made as well, which is the most used decks in 2023. I thought I'd do this one first. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.